Oliver the Great Western Engine This is a story about Oliver the Great Western Engine. His owner did not want him anymore and he was going to be turned into scrap. Then someone came to the rescue. Ooh. One day, Edward was talking to Douglas. They had heard that the steam engines were being put out of service across the island and replaced by new diesels. They're going to be turned into scrap, said Edward quietly. Don't mention that word, Douglas gasped. It makes my wheels wobble. Oh, I can see why. Scrap is technically death for an engine. I agree, replied Edward, but the Fat Controller says he will make sure that there are always steam engines on his railway. I'm glad we work for the Fat Controller, smiled Douglas. Me too, Douglas, me too. That night, Douglas was still working. He had taken the midnight goods train to a station at the far away part of the island, where only diesels worked. He was just shunting, ready for his journey home, when he heard a faint hiss. That sounds like a steam engine, he thought in surprise. The hiss came again. Who's there? asked Douglas. I'm Oliver. I'm Oliver, whispered a voice. Are you one of the Fat Controller's engines? I am proud of it, replied Douglas. Thank goodness, said the voice. In the darkness, Douglas could make just make out a little western engine. This is my coach Isabel and brake van Toad, said the engine. We've run out of coal and have no more steam. But, but what are you doing here? said Douglas. Escaping from the scrapyard, replied Oliver trembling. Douglas shivered. I'll be glad to help you, he said. We'll make, we'll make it look as though you're ready for scrap and I'm taking you away. Clever thinking. The driver and fireman agreed to help too. Everyone worked fast. They took off Oliver's side rods, wrote out tran transit labels saying that he, that he belonged to the Fat Controller, and chalked scrap all over him. Nine time for me to, nay time for me to turn round, panted Douglas. I will have to run backwards. Douglas and Oliver started out on their journey, but before they could leave the station, they were stopped. Uh-oh, not good. Aha! exclaimed the foreman, shining his torch at Oliver. A great western engine. His light flickered further back. With a western coach and a bright van, you can't take these. But they're all for us. See for yourself, exclaimed Douglas, his driver. Douglas's driver showed him the transit labels. Oliver and Douglas hardly dared to breathe. The foreman looked all over Oliver. Seems in order. You can go, driver, he said. Phew, that was a near thing, puffed Douglas. We've had worse, smiled Oliver. We were nearly caught getting here and had to hide on an old quarry branch for three days. I was very frightened. I'm not surprised, replied Douglas, and they forged ahead. Oh, gracias, gracias, Douglas, for doing that. It was daylight when their journey ended, when their journey ended. We're home, cried Douglas as they reached the Fat Controller's Railway. I know just the place for you, and he showed them an empty siding hidden nicely away. Goodbye and thank you, whispered Oliver. 
I was happy to help. Douglas smiled and he puffed away. Back at the shed, Douglas told the other engines all about Oliver. They were very excited and agreed that something must be done for him. The fat controller will have to know, said James. Douglas should tell him at once, added Gordon firmly. Well, here I am, said a cheerful voice. Now what's this? Now what's all this about? It was the fat controller. The engines were silent. Beg pardon, sir, but we do need another engine, said Duck quietly at last. Yes, sir, a steam engine, sir, said Gordon. We do indeed, replied the fat controller. Replied the fat controller, but I'm afraid that unless one is safe from scrap, there's little hope. But, sir, burst out Douglas, what has been? Who told you that, Douglas? asked the fat controller. The engines looked nervously at each other. Sir, eh, uh, I saved him, muttered Douglas. You saved a steam engine? exclaimed the fat controller. I want to hear everything. So Douglas told him all about how he had rescued Oliver, Isabel, and Toad from the scrapyard. When he had finished, the fat controller smiled. I'm proud of you, Douglas, he said. Oliver, Isabel, and Toad are just what we need for Duck's branch line. Thank you, sir, replied Douglas. All the engines cheered. Yes, hooray for Douglas! The fat controller soon had Oliver, Isabel, and Toad mended and painted in full great western colors. They are very happy on Duck's branch line. As Oliver puffs along the coast, he often thinks about what a lucky escape he had. If Douglas hadn't come to the rescue, things could be very difficult. Things would be very different. Oliver is very grateful to Douglas and everyone at the fat controller's railway for his lovely new home. I am too. Very, very grateful. And the end. Well, I hope you all decided, well, I hope you all like that one, amigos. This has been Pepperdance saying, good adios, YouTubers. <laughs>